This classic space shooter developed by Nintendo revolutionized the way we play video games. It features upgradable lasers for a stronger defense, an unforgettable soundtrack, and it was also very challenging, yet fun to play. I'm talking, of course, about Solar Striker on Game Boy. Centuries ago, the Reticulon system sent a transmission to Earth threatening to take control. The Earth Federation government and army was formed in order to rage war on the Reticulon system. But after a failed strike, mankind was nearly extinct. In the year 2159, an advanced spaceship named Solar Striker, along with the mothership Mother Athena, is sent to infiltrate the Reticulon core base, destroy the central core, and save the world. This is one of the only top-down shooters you'll find on the Game Boy, and it's a very simple game, but it's also very challenging, so expect to lose some lives or get game over on your very first try. There are six levels with enemies such as alien cruisers, batwing fighters, insect spaceships, and spinning peanuts. The game features an excellent soundtrack as you battle in this distinct star field. And when it's game over, you get this sad tune as your spaceship crash lands. Along the way, you'll come across floating energy cells which upgrade your lasers to double lasers, triple lasers, and then photon rockets. Don't forget to fire it at first, though it could destroy you. One thing about the graphics is that the Game Boy is in black and white. This game takes place in space, so why are the colors reversed? Now space is white, and the stars are black holes. Sadly, this franchise never returned, but it's very similar to Star Fox in terms of story and gameplay. It seems plausible that Solar Striker was an inspiration for a Star Fox franchise. That is to say that Solar Striker evolved into Star Fox. Let's go.